the internet economy, business models and strategies. Hello, my name is Ville Saariposki. This is a five credit course titled the internet economy, business models and strategies. In this short video, I will describe the general framework of the course and I will describe the content of the course. When discussing uh, strategy, the PESTEL framework is an established framework. P stands for political, E stands for economic, S for social, T for technology, E for ecological and L for legal. The internet is a new technology and it is fundamentally changing the society around us. One of the goals of this course is that you, as the participant of this course, will study and learn to understand how and why the internet is changing our society and how and why it continues to have such a strong potential to change the world around us. This is not a course on technology. This course looks at the internet from an economic perspective. It is a course for business administration students. The key question is how to use the internet as a business enabling tool. However, I believe technology people will also benefit from learning how business people should approach and understand the internet. Sometimes the internet economy is referred to as the new economy with an attempt to underline that this new economy is different to the old and that old economic principles do not apply. I do not share this thought. However, there are some characteristics of the internet economy, in particular the characteristics of information and networks, which make the economics of the internet interesting and very different to the world of physical goods. Uh, people have for centuries created communities. In these communities, they have agreed and decided on how to share resources and created laws on how to govern their communities, keeping in mind the available technological resources they have. The challenge is to make the best possible use as a community of the technological resources the community has. Throughout history, technology has changed the way we can and should construct our societies. Society is changing. The internet is the latest addition into this long line of change-creating technologies. Despite this long tradition of technological change, our generation remains largely ignorant to the potential of the latest technology, the internet. In particular, we remain ignorant to why and how the internet can change our societies. Uh, business leaders interact in a competitive market environment with each other. This resembles an evolutionary process. Businesses are in continuous change and in many cases are simply reacting to the changes in a competitive environment. It means that businesses and their leaders do not necessarily understand why they have evolved into their present market position. And it is also very possible that they do not understand how and why technology could change their business landscape. The young generation has been quick to pick up the new tools brought along by the internet revolution. In many cases, it has been the new generation of young consumers who have fund fundamentally changed the way businesses function, 
the way industries can be constructed and questioned the rationale behind present laws. Change is happening on all of these levels, the individual, the corporation and the society, and in many cases simultaneously. At the same time, all of these levels are somewhat lost in the face of the new technology. For this reason, a framework which keeps in mind all of these three elements, the individual, the corporation and the society is of interest. The triangle puts all of these elements into one picture. Change can happen and does happen on all of the three corners of the triangle simultaneously. It is change at all levels which makes markets and life in the face of the internet so unpredictable and to me at least so very very interesting. A similar framework is also used by Laudon in his book e-commerce 2013. His triangle has three elements. One cornerstone is technology, the next cornerstone are businesses. The idea is that businesses are quick to adopt technology and hence change the society around them. It is a straightforward process from technology to businesses, adopting technology and then lobbying to change society and laws. My framework, the triangle of individual, corporation, society, contrary to the framework of Laudon, underlines that adoption of internet technology into our society has been a far more revolutionary process and not a straightforward process of step-by-step -step rational uh, process. Uh, nevertheless, my goal is to give the student an understanding of the business potential of the internet. In a broad sense, the internet is an information network. In other words, it has something to do with information and something to do with networks. In the beginning, I encourage students to look at their environment, how individual consumers and companies are changing, but also how complete industries are facing change. Ranging from traditional mail to shops being challenged by web commerce to changes in education, industries are changing and societies are striving to find the right way to regulate change. I also encourage students to look at the continuous emergence of new internet technologies. From the fixed internet, the internet has become mobile and is now moving toward the internet of things. Technological change is continuous.